my friends and welcome to today's video break. Psalm 55 verse 8 says, I would hurry to my place of shelter far from the tempest and storm. <laughs> and so David was in the midst of a storm. David was in the, he was in this midst, he was in this place that all he desired to do was, I don't want to be in this place, but I want to be, I want to be someplace different. I want to be in the desert, <laughs> you know, but he was surrounded by a storm. And one of the greatest things that I've realized during this, as we're walking through this world together, you know, we're walking through these situations. We're not alone. We're together, but we all hope that we'll be in some a different situation soon, but that's not where we are. We're right here right now. And so the storm is here and the storm could get worse. The storm could get better, but no matter what storm of life that we're going through, our father is right there with us, holding us, caring for us, showing us things that I have never seen before, you know, opening our eyes to give us different, greater perspectives, you know, instead of fearing, instead of the enemy of fear, he's given us the peace and the comfort of his, of his very self. And to me, that's amazing. You know, it's, it's a time of preparation for what lies ahead tomorrow, because we don't know what's going to happen tomorrow, but escaping isn't going to help tomorrow because tomorrow's still going to come. We don't know, but it, you know, you can see the storm clouds rising. We all know, and we're, we're to take precautions in those when we see them rising, of course. And so I remember always being afraid of tornadoes when I was a kid. One of the first things I would do was, you know, run to the basement as soon as, now I like watching them approach because it, it, it's just a weirdness that I have. And, but I do run to the basement if I need to, but I, I'm not silly like that. I don't put the God to test, but I'm thinking we are in a great place of shelter because the Almighty has not left the throne. He is covering us, you know, and he is our refuge. There's no greater place to run to other than to that refuge of God, you know, to that security of God, to that magnitude of who he is and hold on as tightly as you can and let him carry you through. You know, there's no great escape. God is our escape. God is our refuge. Run there and be blessed, my friend.